Yo, what's going on everyone? This is the kid DC Wrestling back once again with another video here to bring you all your Impact Wrestling Under Siege 2022 pay-per-view review. Man, oh man, Impact once again shows how to put on a really good show. I keep telling y'all, man, Impact Wrestling be underrated when it comes to these pay-per-views. And once again, despite the fact that this pay-per-view take place two weeks, about two weeks after uh, last Impact's last pay-per-view rebellion, this was another really good show, man. So we're not going to waste any time. We're going to kick things off, man. We kick off the night with uh, Jessel Shaw defeating Madison Rain. Uh, so the women kicked off the show here tonight. Yeah, this is a pretty solid opener. Um, there's really nothing more I could say. But um, the women did go at it. So, yeah, pretty solid way to open up the show. All right, next we had Chris Sabin defeating Steve Macklin by pinfall. Yeah, this is a really good match right here, man. Like, Chris Sabin obviously gets the win. Like, I had that feeling that Sabin was going to win anyway, considering that, again, uh, Sabin is just good. And Macklin, it's just Macklin. No offense to Macklin. But, yeah, Chris Sabin gets the win here. Like I said, this was a uh, really good matchup here between the both guys. All right, next we had the singles match for the AAA Arena, Del Arena's championship, Tile Valkyrie defeating Deanna Perrazzo. And yeah, this was a really good match. Obviously, this was a rematch of their match at Rebellion. And just like their match at Rebellion, this match was pretty good as well. Well, that's not the only thing uh, that people were talking about. Obviously, you see it in the photo above. We saw the return of Mia Yim. That's right, folks. I don't know if we should call her Mia Yim anymore. I don't know. But yeah, Mia Yim is in Impact Wrestling. She's back in Impact Wrestling. It's really cool to see, man. I think this is a dope, good decision for her. I feel like Mia Yim will do some great stuff in Impact Wrestling. I think this is where she belongs. Uh, my honest opinion, I know other people are going to be like, oh, she should have went to AEW. But my personal opinion, I think Mia Yim will be a good fit for Impact Wrestling. So really cool to see her here. All right, next we had a really great match for the Impact X Division Championship. Ace Austin defeating Trey Miguel. Yeah, I knew Ace Austin was going to win. Um, you know, th this was a really good match, but I keep telling y'all, the X Division, man, they be putting on a show. And tonight was just another example of how good the X Division is. Uh, Ace Austin going over, I thought, was the right bookie decision. And I think Ace Austin, he's going to be champ for quite a while now. So, And, you know, you can't heat because Trey Miguel, he's been champ for quite a while as well. All right, we had a 10-man tag, man. We had Honor No More defeating the Bullet Club. This is kind of shocking considering what the Bullet Club has been on recently. But you got to give the Honor No More. You got to give them the heat. You got to give them the win as well. Yeah, I thought this was a pretty solid match between the guys. And, um, yeah, Honor No More gets the win here. I know all you uh, Bullet Club fanboys are probably upset over the fact that you guys got beat by a bunch of Ring of Honor rejects. But, <laughs> long bay. regardless, uh, Honor No More gets the win there. So, good on them. And I'm joking, by the way, with the whole... Ring of Honor rejects, by the way. Um, so we had a match for the Impact Knockouts title. Uh, Tasha still defeating Havoc. Tasha still retains her uh, title. Yeah, this is a pretty solid match between the both women here, man. I think Tasha still retaining her title um, was the right decision, in my personal opinion. I like Tasha still. I know a lot of you probably don't, but I, I think Tasha still is doing some pretty good stuff here as the Impact Knockouts champion. So I had no problem with her retaining her title here. All right, we had a tag team match player for the Impact World Tag Team Championships. The Briscoes defeating Violent by Design. And the Briscoes are the new Impact World Tag Team Champions. Um, I, I had a feeling this was going to happen. You know, the Briscoes coming in like they did, um, coming into Impact, you know, winning the titles. I think, you know, you got to shake things up a little bit. And I think the Briscoes, in my personal opinion, the Briscoes are one of the best tag teams in the world today. Um, not just in Impact, but in the world um, baddest too as well. So I think they're going to do some great stuff as Impact World Tag Team Champions. All right. Uh, the main event, <clears throat> uh, Josh Alexander versus Tormahir Ishii for the Impact World Championship. Yeah, this is a really good matchup here. You know, Tormahir Ishii, man, he just brings that craziness to the matches. He'll, he'll bring that intensity to you. And of course, you saw that with him facing Josh Alexander. And the ending to, um, you know, Under Siege was pretty crazy as well. But, um, yeah, guys, like I said, overall, this is a pretty good show. And Impact, once again, just completely um, just goes to show you, man, that they don't mess around. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this review tomorrow. I will be doing my WrestleMania Backlash review, so be on the lookout for that. And then we move on to Raw. Anyways, this has been the Kid DC Wrestling. And so, um, yeah.